The Biden administration is sending 1,500 more troops to the southern border to help with an expected surge of migrants when Title 42 expires next week. Good evening, I'm Jesse Pagan, in for Carlo Chiquetto. I'm Marcella Lee. Today at the border, just west of San Isidro, hundreds of migrants lined up. You see these lines waiting to claim asylum. CBS 8's David Godfordson spoke to people right through the border wall who said they have been waiting for days with little food to keep them going. This was what it looked like this morning along the border just west of San Ysidro. Hundreds of migrants waiting in line to be allowed into the United States to claim asylum. People from all over the world exhausted from their long journeys lying on the ground just a few feet from the border. Border Patrol agents are providing water, but these migrants from the Democratic Republic of Congo in Africa told me they haven't eaten in days. It has been five days now, we don't, we don't eat, man. They don't want their faces shown on television for fear it might hurt their chances to get into the United States. Well, we got more problem here because we have more than 100 people here. No one is eating, man. And we are men, we have to eat something so that we can be the patient. Title 42, which allowed U.S. agents to turn away asylum seekers at the border due to the pandemic, is set to expire next week. But because of the large numbers of migrants already lining up at the border, Customs and Border Protection has already started loading people into buses and transporting them to Border Patrol stations to be processed. I followed this bus to the Imperial Beach Border Patrol station, where I could see dozens of people waving at me from inside the bus. Once they arrive, they will undergo credible fear interviews to determine if they qualify for asylum hearings because of persecution or fear of harm in their home countries. Mucho conflicto armado. Conflicto armado, mucha violencia. We need to be received uh, by the U.S. because we come from uh, troubled places. So there's a lot of violence. Photojournalist Jay Erdman is helping translate for this group of men from Colombia who said they flew from Bogota to Mexico City and then took a bus to the Tijuana border. They say Border Patrol agents are allowing women and children to cross into the U.S., but not men. La, la border patrol. So Border Patrol told us this morning to line up here and wait, and we've been here for some hours, but nothing's happened. They can't fit us in the shelters right now, so we have to wait. Customs and Border Protection sent us a statement they are using all available resources to handle this surge of migrants at the border. They also said criminal background checks are done on everybody who is taken into custody for processing. Just west of San Ysidro at the international border, David Godfordson, CBS 8.